Okay, so we will look at one more concept now. So how to handle child taps? Let's say if you have clicked on any button and that will take you to the another tab on the same browser. Okay, so how to switch your Cypress to another tab of your window and continue execution. Again, there is different way Cypress handles it. Cypress do not have knowledge on any child tabs. If you want to work on child tabs opened by your parent tab, you just cannot do it through Cypress. Okay, unlike other automation tools like Selenium or Protractor, which will help you to move to the child browser and working on it. But in Cypress, there is no concept of switching to the child browser. There is a reason. Um, their architecture is designed in such a way that um, it restricts on, the, on your own browser. So their main purpose is to build non-flaky automation. So they want to get results in very consistent manner and they felt that working on child windows is really flaky thing. So they have not provided that feature. But don't worry, they are giving, they are giving us a workarounds to do that in different style. Okay, so before I tell that workaround, you should understand few development basics here. Okay, let me explain you that first. So when you spy on this open tab, you know that on clicking this button, another web page is opening like this, which is a child tab. So why another tab is getting open? That's possible only if you set target attribute in your HTML for that button. So basically target attribute is set to open this link, whatever you provide href attribute in another window. That's the reason we use this. If you don't use target attribute, then this page will redirect to qaclickacademy.com on the same window. Okay, it will not open things in another window. Okay, so let me Google and show you what target attribute is used for. That's why I'm saying you need some developer basics and I will focus on that first before I explain the concept. It's little tricky to teach Cypress. Okay, so it's not pretty straightforward where I can show um, API related to Cypress. Sometimes you need to understand dev basics as well. But I'll try my best to explain. Look at here, target attribute. Target attribute specifies where to open the linked document. Okay, so this will actually open that document in one blank window, another blank window. So this decides on where to open this link, the href attribute, whatever it is tied up to this button will open in separate blank window if you set target attribute. Okay, that's the concept. Now, Cypress guys are saying that instead of opening in child window, why can't you open in the same browser? Let's say I am clicking on this home now. Look at here. It's redirecting to another qaclickacademy.com, but in the same window, it's not moving to another child window. So Cypress is asking us to make this behavior or mimic this behavior in such a way that it's opening in the same tab instead of going child window. If that is the, if we can achieve that, then Cypress happily handles it. But if you open this like this in separate tab, Cypress says, oh, I just cannot handle it. Okay. There could be multiple reasons we will use this to open in separate window. That is different situation. But if you want to continue your working of automation and if you want to really go to this page and if you stuck at the point that Cypress is not allowing to open separate tab, you have to manipulate your DOM in such a way that that page will open on your same window. Okay, you have to bring that intelligence firstly what cypress guys are suggesting us if you want to know whether this link opened in separate tab or not put an assertion for this attribute verify if target attribute is present or not 
if it is present then you can confirm that this button will open in another child window one case now if you want to work on that child window page they were also suggesting us to open in your current browser only don't go to another window okay so now how will you mimic the behavior of your HTML to open that in the same browser basically you need to delete this target attribute if target attribute is deleted then this will open just like how it opened for the home button if I clicked on home button it's opening on the same window right it just behaves in the same way without talking to child windows if you don't have this target attribute so now our goal is to remove this target attribute through Cypress we know that Cypress have the ability to manipulate the DOM isn't it so using that ability we have to remove the target attribute so that you can continue executing whatever web opens with that link so your test case is that open this link and whatever window whatever page it opens continue your automation like this okay same thing we, instead of opening child let's open in the same browser now by deleting this target attribute okay so let's see how can we delete that attribute now all right so one thing you need to know here i will actually bring one more new method which is invoke let's understand what is the invoke method it's a command in cypress basically invoke cypress yeah and look at the definition of this invokes a function as simple as this it invokes the function whatever you pass inside the argument okay basically functions in the sense jquery there is a whole different language called jquery and there are functions in it and it will help us to invoke jquery functions so why do we need to invoke now jquery functions to remove the target attribute because there is a function called remove come on R E yeah there is a function called remove attribute in jquery which will help us to remove the attribute for that specific locator now our goal is to remove this target attribute right so if you use this function and give the which attribute you want to delete then you can just delete it on the DOM so this is the basically a future given by jQuery so fortunately our Cypress supports all jQuery objects and functions so we can invoke this jQuery function from our Cypress test so how to invoke that function we have a command called invoke in Cypress which will help us to invoke jquery functions so keeping that concept in mind i hope you guys are following if not just rewind the video and again st start listening to each and every word of mine okay but i'm trying my best to explain as it involves some dev concepts too it's really challenging for me <laughs> to bring all it in one place okay so firstly we need to move to that specific web element um right this is a tab right okay id we have open tab so you can simply concatenate with hash so that it will turn on css now we were telling that on that button invoke is a function and we were asking to invoke a jquery function called remove attr okay you can see examples in w3 schools if you you need not go again and read complete jquery for the simple things what all jquery methods and functions are required i'm taking care in the course okay so don't worry about learning 
so they have given how to deal with this remove attribute so you have to just provide that what attribute you want to remove it here so invoking this function and you as a second argument you need to pass which attribute you want to remove i want to remove target that's it and now this step will move your control to that specific um, what is that open tab button and there it will invoke this function so that target will be removed after removing if you try to click on that button now it will open in the same page okay so it will not open in now another page so that's the logic so now let's try to run this and see how this is behaving okay so firstly it will do all the pop-up work what we did and look at here i it clicked on open tab and now it's trying to open on the same browser it's not pointing to any child window timed out connection this is something related to my server okay nothing to do with cypress or browser okay let me rerun this or let's do one thing okay so no problem i think it seems there is server issue but i have deployed this same page in one of my another server called qaclickacademy.com slash practice.php so basically we were migrating our domain name from qa click academy to rahul shetty academy so when i recently deployed i guess there is some server problem here but there is another page which exactly does same thing so instead of going to that url i will use this url in my ci dot visit so i don't think we have any server issues here because this is running from long time so hopefully this should work i will save the test and i'll start monitoring let us see how does it handle here look at there we are in it clicked on that link okay by removing attribute and we have successfully navigated to new page but if you carefully observe this did not open in any child window okay so it opened on the same browser how does it happen it happened because we removed the attribute called target so that browser now treating that as an part of same window and it just opened in the as another page on the same browser okay so this is how you need to handle child tabs using cypress this is also looking entirely different right so that's why i'm saying the whole architecture is different and the way you handle in other automation tools and here it's completely different and this is like browser event and this is jquery function so Cypress alone will not help you to solve so many questions. You need to sometime include J jQueries and browser events. But do remember that Cypress have done all these changes to bring the stability in the application. Their main goal is to build non-flaky tests. When I say non-flaky, that consistent results. They don't want to have any inconsistent results. So they have seen all the pain points of what we are facing with existing automation tools and they try to bring some intelligence to make our tests more consistent as part of that um, thought process these are the different ways they came up to handle the things okay so let's say now i am in qaclickacademy.com if i want to go back to my page practice page we can just click back button right so when you initially landed on on this specific page you cannot click back button here because it opened in separate child window but in our cypress we opened in the same browser so if you click back button you should launch or you should come back to this page technically as per our concept okay let's see if it's happening or not so how to do browser navigation back using cypress another 
topic okay we'll see that in our next lecture thank you